What was that character select screen from? It looked like it was straight out of freaking Bioshock. Skullgirls. Uh. It's about to get kind of so, like strictly super platonic friendship. Okay. See, Cass is absurdly concerned with Gordo's well being. This reminds me of the, the bra thing from um, Tales of Graces. <laughs> Wait, which bra thing? Um, I think it was Malik was demonstrating his technique for snapping women's bras at uh, range. <laughs> oh. Or snapping the straps on women's bras at range, rather. And so Sherry is bra falls apart and she sounds legitimately upset about it. <laughs> it's like, hey, I just bought this bra! Unbelievable. <laughs> like, I was impressed with her voice actor's performance. That was... Just like random shit like that was so spot on. <laughs> she sounded exactly as done as somebody would be when they dealt with Asbel. Uh, yes. <laughs> and then there was David Vincent chewing the scenery as always. Uh -huh. I feel you, Chaos. Being, being the second in command is difficult. Managing everything for everybody. Uh, yeah, fuck that. I had enough of that shit. I, want, I just want to be the mook who takes orders and doesn't have to worry about all that micromanagement shit. And yet, sadly, I still find myself missing the days where I was, that was functionally my role amongst my circle of friends. Making sure things that we wanted to do actually did happen. Everybody was like, cats. What do you mean, was? Well, what I say was because like I don't really have a circle of friends anymore, so I don't have to. I don't have to herd cats. All the cats just wandered away. Behold, a Pokemon. What kind of Pokemon is that? <laughs> What wanders on two legs during the day, three and four in the evening, and three at night? I don't know what any of those new Pokemon. <laughs> and, and the Sphinx was like, you know what? Like, I'll give you that one. There's like, I can't reasonably expect you to remember all those. There's like 600 of them. <laughs> I actually kind of like Chaos's attitude, but he's just like, you know what, whatever. It's like somewhere between like the obligatory like smart character and just like the guy that's just done. Yeah. I I too can get behind that attitude. Seth. Whose hair makes him look like an semi emo version of um of um protagonist. I was trying to think of what his name was too. Luger. Right. Certain protagonist who doesn't speak because we didn't want to fucking spoil spoil his little plot hook at the end of the game. That was so retarded. Which is dumb. Don't do that, guys. At least when you have the option of turning on his voice for the you know select your dialogue sequences, it makes him sound less like a silent protagonist and more like he's just shy and doesn't like to talk a lot. Which. In that context, thinking of it that way, I can kind of get behind the idea. Because he has speaking lines in the game, 
It doesn't really work for the victory quotes, though. Well, yeah. Because they're really, like, even though he is saying stuff, like, they're so quick and quiet that it's just like, what was the point? Well, you know... Lobster. You don't have to be grandiose about everything you do. Granted, it is a JRPG, but... It's like you can't just you can't say smirk. You just smirk. Yes, Carmine has no class. He is in fact a class hole. You're the main red, the big red. I really like how bold those words are they're spoken in English. <laughs> I still cannot get past how the way Kermine's pecs are drawn with his vest that makes him look like he has tits. Bigger tits than Noel Vermillion. That's a pretty low bar, but yes. Alex, put a, put a little sad, like, SD Noel in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> ah, poor Noel. Luckily for her, Ragnar likes him flat, apparently. You know, if those two were ever anything more than just passing acquaintances who happened to be, you know, fighting to the death alongside each other once in a while. Also, Noel looking like his sister, but hey. But that's what Rachel's there for, to make it a little less weird. Oh, okay. Except for the part where she looks like 12 or 13 or 14. Probably because she was turned when she was 12 or 13 or 14. Like, why can't I meet any nice girls? Well, I mean, Tao is nice. She's dumb as a box of rocks, but she's nice. <laughs> True. I don't know, I don't think I'd be into anybody who would treat sucking dick like telling me, give me food, good guy. Eh, uh, yeah, that's true. Also somebody whose face I can't see. Other than her eyes and all of her teeth. That would be like, wow, that is a lot of teeth, actually. Like, we're not gonna do it. Wow, this cutscene is just like dragging on. Mostly because it's just chaos talking shit to him. He needs to learn to talk shit faster. I know, right? You're not supposed to make your strategic fight. Uh, unless it's a, a Fire Emblem game, then you do it for some reason. You know, if it wasn't for the short pants, I would like Chaos's outfit. His capris? Yes. Well, it actually looks like the pant legs are rolled up for some reason. Yeah, like, who wears their pants like that? Are you expecting floodwaters? People in Japan, apparently. Also, it's outrageously huge collar.
I think it's just outrageously huge because he doesn't have it folded over. Probably. Then it's just impressive that it's staying up. Is it really kind of supposed to be affected by gravity? <laughs> like this, like this one quote. It's like it's the right kind of smarmy. Yeah. Oh boy, it's smarmy versus tryhard. At least they don't talk to each other. They just get straight to trying to beat the crap out of each other. I can't help but wonder who's gonna get make the roster for the next set of uh Cross tick battle yeah. I want more Uniball characters to get in so they have English voice actors. I'm trying to think who would be appropriate for Fallen. Hmm. Okay. I'm kind of thinking Melly. Maybe. I think she. I think she could definitely do the try hard thing pretty well. But then again, she's already in the game, so they probably wouldn't use her again. Do somebody like Melody. I'm trying to remember who she voices. Rin. Oh. Right, yeah. Rachel. Yep. Lost anyway, continue. Hmm. I can't think of anybody. Maybe can I right off the top of my head? Like, I was kind of thinking for a second, like, maybe like Allie Hillis, but like, no, she, would sound, she sounds too old. I don't mean that in a bad way, I mean she sounds too much like an adult. Yeah, she doesn't sound enough like a teenager trying her hardest to be edgelordy as fuck. Like her normal speaking voice, I would say, would work perfectly fine for the tryhard part, but... Like, regular spoken dialogue, not so much. Can't, it can't be, can't be Erica Lindbeck, she's already in the game as Usuria, use her Mordred voice. Hmm. Yeah, I can't actually think of anybody. Perhaps, um, yeah, whoever it is that voices uh, Nero. Ah, she's in the game already too. Oh. She voices uh, Linne. Oh, right. Forgot about that. Sun decidedly a lot less excitable than Nero. Nero does sound pretty excitable. <laughs> and a lot less for both. Even, even more verbose in all the games, too. Talks a lot about how she's going to allow stuff. Mm hmm. Well, being ostensibly queen of something or other. Fifth and final Emperor of Rome. Empress. Both of these things together can. Anyway, next time we're going to have a romance. <laughs>